Anglers enjoying Wyoming's top-notch fishing opportunities sometimes reel in a fish with something out of the ordinary attached to it, and the Wyoming Game and Fish Department definitely wants to know about it. Tagging studies have been an important part of the department's data collection methods for years. These studies help biologists understand everything from distribution of fish populations to angler catch and harvest rates. The Game and Fish recently tagged over 1,300 rainbow, rainbow cutthroat hybrids, and Yellowstone cutthroat trout in the North Fork of the Shoshone River and Buffalo Bill Reservoir. Biologists there want to understand annual migration of trout from the reservoir to the river and back, and evaluate the effectiveness of current regulations that are in place there to protect migrating fish. Angler reports of the tags are important to help biologists meet those objectives. Past studies have involved burbot at Bull Lake near Riverton, sauger on the Little Papoja River, lake trout in Jackson Lake, and shovel-nosed sturgeon on the Bighorn River. Most tags are brightly colored, but occasionally an angler will land a fish with an older tag from a study from years ago. Go ahead and report the number on that tag too if you can. That data is important. Tags on some catfish in the Bighorn River have been reported from as far back as 16 years ago. Anglers can report tags by calling their local Game and Fish office and providing the tag number over the phone. An 800 number is also available. Copy both numbers down and keep them handy. Tags need not be removed to be reported. In many instances, cash rewards and prizes are given for reported tags. On the North Fork and Buffalo Bill Reservoir study, the Adipose Chapter of Trout Unlimited is sponsoring a raffle and cash prizes to incentivize reporting. Anglers are asked to provide the color of tag or tags, the date and location where the fish was caught, and if the fish was harvested or released. Anglers play a big role in these studies, and these data provide game and fish with the information they need to better inform management decisions and provide regulation changes if needed. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.